Good morning, YouTube. It's Sunday. <clears throat> I had to work yesterday. No sooner than last week did I tell you, hey, something must be going right. I'm not working on Saturday. Well, should have never said that. But anyway, I'm off today, and I got all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, I want to show you the uh, garage project. It's a double secret probation project that I've been working on. I started on it last weekend. I was going to try and show it to you, but I, I just never I just never got along to it. So that'll be an upcoming video later on this afternoon, I hope. Uh, I'm going to fire up my very first 502 restoration project. This is where I met Rob Hall, uh, very first one. And I'm going to use that for my coffee challenge today. I'm going to fire up the Sharp kerosene heater. I'm making a I'm making a little uh, shelf, and I'll show you where that's going to go. That'll uh, that'll appear in this evening's video for my my shop project. And then tonight, also, <laughs> boom! I got a I got a mail call from Donna. I can't wait to see what's in this. I had literally had to take a crane. I think it's full of concrete. <laughs> anyway, tonight I'll do a special separate uh, mail call for Donna. Can't wait. I came home yesterday from a long day at work and this was waiting for me. What a great, what a great way to, uh, to end a long day. So if you're into it, let's have some coffee. Fibbed. I'm going to use this Mr. Heater that my wife spotted at a yard sale this summer. Uh, 20 bucks, and I think we got it for 15 and it's the big one. So I got the little bitty one in my boat, and it, it doesn't leave there because it's a boat cocoon. But anyway, boy, howdy, this thing, it, it fired right up. So I'm pleased to have this. Thank you, babe, for spotting that. I walked right by it. <laughs> it's just, it just happens that way. So anyway, uh, let's fire up this old 502. It is a, uh, I got it marked here. I better take that off too. That will burn out. It is a, come on. I marked the ones that I totally restore so I don't forget. It's a total rebuild, um, February of 21, Coleman 502, and it's a 1971. So that's a good year, I think. I'm sure it is for somebody. Let's see. I'm going to let this burn a while, so I'm going to fill this up pretty good. cap back on we are going to change it up a little bit my daughter got me these it is a I don't know if you can see it it is a Starbucks super coffee via instant vanilla latte it is raining cats and dogs today and it is a latte day so I figured I better use one of these up so we're gonna try that today and let me get I got a little spillage going here let's pump her up caps on doors closed that should do it heat up that generator a bit There we go. Never gets old. The blue flame. <laughs> anyway, there it is. This is my first 502 uh, restoration. 
I left it sweaty. I love it. I went completely through it. Um, of course, Rob had to walk me through it, just like he probably had to walk half the internet through getting these things done. So, thanks, Rob. And uh, let's get this going. Put my John Wright cast iron. Uh, that's nice and stable. There we go. And we'll be back. All right, we're back. Got a little movie magic going on here. We got the John Wright cast iron uh, kettle, teapot. And uh, I already had a little bit of sample of this Viva Instant uh, the Starbucks product that my, my daughter got me for Christmas. And I'm going to show you guys how this works. This little bag actually will do at least two cups, in my opinion. Um, it says one cup, but it's Viva Instant Vanilla Latte. And today is a latte day. Whatever that is. Here, let me turn this. This shit. Oh, yeah. Little 502 is just perking light right along. Give this a little stir. All right. This bluegrass bushcraft cup goes out to a couple people. Um, Trevor, over Austerian, uh, Austeration, uh, go check out his page. He does he does some crazy cool, uh, every single time I watch his site there, I, I learn something new. And uh, hey man, you're slacking. You need, to get, you need to get something going. It's been a little while. <laughs> uh, GBL, hey Gary. Miss Betty, I just want to congratulate both of you on retirement. Um, you guys had some really cool, you know, uplifting changes in your life uh, this year, and I'm glad we can all feed off of it. <laughs> uh, couldn't be more deserving to finer people. So, GBL, uh, old, uh, I'll put the link in, into your site, the Church Homestead. Uh, a lot of you know Gary. Uh, Sean over at Shovelhead 8. I mean, love you, man. Uh, I, I'd never miss your shows. Um, Cast Iron Cooking. Got to get over there and check out. It's Cheese Month. So that's a, that's always good. Jason, Kenneth, all you guys, everybody in the background, this cup's for you. Let's see how it goes. What is it again? Viva, Viva Instant Latte. That's pretty special. I gotta tell you, it's instant, it's ready to roll. Grab a couple of those packs, throw them in your van. This is my second cup, so I cheated. <laughs> All right, guys, everybody. Oh, uh, stick around if you're into it. I'll show you my uh, my shop project. What else, uh, what else was I gonna do? Oh, big, big, uh, uh, mail call tonight with Donna uh, all right love you guys you guys have a great Sunday it's uh it's gonna be a shop day here it's raining cats and dogs uh, it's just you know I mean we could use it we could use the rain so anyway have a great Sunday everybody be safe